Jens and I both grew up in Washington State getting taken up into the Cascade Mountains by our parents and we later both moved back to the state in our 20s settling in Leavenworth where I think the access to big mountains and the close-knit climbing community and uh, really kind of drew us in. I moved to Leavenworth about eight years ago and started climbing the Stewart Range really pouring my heart and soul into it. Blake and I uh, kind of came up with this idea to to try to enchain three of what we believe to be the finest and most difficult um, free climbing routes in the Stewart Range. So the three routes that uh, we chose to, to, um, to link up was a route called Let It Burn on Colchuck Balanced Rock, uh, Dragons of Eden on Dragon Tail Peak, and Dare Sportsman on Prusik Peak. The, the first route that we want to climb on the day is a route called Let It Burn. And when I moved here about eight years ago, Let It Burn didn't exist. Um, and in 2010, I spent some time on the wall establishing that route with my good friend Max Hassan. And um, we were just came up with a real gem. And it wasn't, it was, the line was there. We just did the work to clean the cracks out. and. Um, and it, it turned out to just be this one of the coolest routes that we'd ever put up anywhere, ever. So uh, that's really cool. That's route number one. So, uh, you know, I'm not super great at calculating uh, 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 numbers and distances, but I think that you know this day is going to entail something upwards of 10,000 feet of vertical gain, um, probably 4,000 of that being on technical rock climbing terrain. You know, we're thinking that it's probably going to be upwards of 20 miles of hiking on top of climbing these three routes. Jens is one of the most kind of consistently motivated and, uh, and driven and obsessed and uh, enthusiastic people in general that I've ever met. I think for, for me, one of the reasons why I want to do it, and I think for Jens too, is that we probably can't do it. And that is a big motivator. There are favorite routes in the range, or at least some of them, and they're some of the hardest. So it's, you know, can we... Can we challenge ourselves to find this adventure and, and do it? And probably not, but we're gonna try. Now Jens is up, and this is the route we did last week, kind of as recon. And I, I did not onsite the crux pitch. It's hard. I. Um, I took on a bunch of places and see if I can remember the boulder problem and see if I can hang on and well Jens has to send it first of all and then I gotta follow <laughs> it. And route number two is called Dragons of Eden and Dragons of Eden was sort of my first obsession in the Stewart Range. A friend of mine kind of tipped me off to the fact that it could make an incredible and difficult free climb and so I repeated the route with my friend Saul Workin. Um, and we immediately were just absolutely enthralled with, with free climbing this line and we spent, we spent the next year kind of training for the, with that in mind and um, made the first free ascent in 2009 with Dragons of Eden and uh, that was a big step in, in, in this link up just because it helped us realize that um, lines like this did exist in the Stewart Range and that we could climb and that we could climb them quick. So one of the reasons that Blake and I are interested in this goal is because we really don't know if we can do it. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into a day like this because it's not, not only are we trying to enchain these three routes, but we're trying to do them in a certain style and that's, and that's free climbing each peak, um, both the leader and the follower. So, you know, one slip, one weight of the rope, and our day stops right there until we can correct that mistake Come on, buddy. and move right on. So that, there's potential for fa failure there and that 
Um, we might lose too much time after a fall or we might lose too much energy trying to correct a mistake. Yeah, Dan, it's good, man. Watch me. Yeah, right with you, Jens. Come on. You're on it. Come on, Jens. Walk it off. You got it, Jens. Shoulder in hard. Yeah, good. Off. I'm right with you, Jen. Come off. Yep. Ah. Fuck! I had it, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. No pressure. Go up there. Yeah. I'm right with you, Jens. Come on. Walk in a finger. You're on those feet. Trust them. Feet and hips, you're on them. I'm off. Off. I'm right with you, Jen. Come on. Just too tired, man. Yep. Are you able to like get any like hip scumming in the? In oh, I'm trying so hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been like, I've had my head against there. I'm trying to like. Get yeah. my shoulder in. I just, I don't know why I can't do it. Like I said, I've never fallen on it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I've always been able, I think I'm just a little tired or something. That's the only thing I can think of is that the reason I can't crank through on those locks. Yeah. I yeah, drink some of that water. Drinks. I'm going to take your shoes. I'm going to take your water. I'm going to, I'm going to force you up. I'm going to will you to send this pitch <laughs> with my mind. Stuff. All right, Jens, go get it. Make it happen. I'm with you, my friend. Yeah, buddy. Ah, come on, Jens. Two moves, big jug. I'm with you. Wait that foot. Yeah, Jens. Ow! So psyched I don't have to do that pitch. So Blake is, uh, is someone that I've known for a couple of years and I'm just super stoked that he moved to town um, in the last few years because he's ultra motivated, ultra fit, and you know, he's definitely one of the reasons why uh, why we're trying this link up this is something that um, I always wanted to do but was was sort of like man I don't know if I can do it I wasn't training hard enough but having Blake in town is, is really good motivation uh, he's an inspiring climber he's super driven and he helps me get off my ass and and shoot shoot for the stars Last route of the day that we uh, hope to send goes up that prow sunshade line on Prussic Peak. It's called Their Sportsman. I'm definitely cramping up pretty bad. And it's gonna be dark and cold and not that easy. We're running a little behind. The final route that we hope to climb on our link up day is uh, called Dare Sportsman on Prussic Peak. It was put up by Brooke Sandal, a famous climber from Oregon. Uh, with my friend Saul again, uh, we kind of heard of this route um, and went to go do its second ascent, I think probably in 2008 actually, before we had done Dragons of Eden, and just found a flawless, super splitter, really rad direct line on Prussic Peak. Um, and it was just no way that we couldn't include that in this link up. It's just could be some of the best climbing of the whole day. The route Dare Sportsman on the cover of uh, the Metolius catalog and Prusik is, of course, this beautiful iconic peak that is, you know, 
all over the place when you start to look at images of the Stewart Range or of the Leavenworth area and the Central Cascades. And um, and the line is is the plum line. It's it's the beautiful striking a red straight down from the summit. The line of strength on you know maybe the most beautiful peak in the Cascades. So that uh, is a pretty inspiring way to try to end um, the climbing portion at least of a day that would kind of give a whole tour of, of the whole range. picking wild objectives like the one that Blake and I want to try and putting ourselves into these big landscapes where we're very small and insignificant because I feel that it's there that I kind of really have an idea of who I am and how I want to carry, carry myself. All right, let's go hiking. Yeah. Let's just keep moving. We don't, like, we aren't making good time. It's only 11 miles. Yeah, but we're, like, I swear this is, like, it's 9 o'clock or something, you know? Yeah, it's probably around 9. It was six hours to hike, to send the mountain and hike 11 miles. We can yeah, do we, that. Yeah, yeah. Hour 21, we are trudging. I feel like I've been following Jens' distant headlamp for hours. Uh, Definitely stumbling around a lot. Almost back to the top of Asgard Pass. And then it'll be a race to the car. Try to get in under the 24 hour mark. Ouch. I'm walking around in the dark with Jens. It's been a theme for the last many hours. Though now for once I'm in front of him, but only because he waited. But we have some good news. Jens, what's the good news? Good news is we're uh, we're about to step into the parking lot under 24 hours, have done our link up. Yeah, Great. yeah, and we are at like 2340, something like that. <laughs> yeah, all the rest of us is vigorous, but just the feet. 